Welcome back to Lion Recaps. Today, I am going to explain a 2021 American monster movie called Godzilla vs. Kong. At the beginning of the film, we are shown that after Godzilla kills King Ghidorah, Kong and Godzilla are the only two titans left on Earth's surface. Kong is kept inside a giant dome on Skull Island where he is monitored by monarch scientists. Then we see Kong wakes up from his rest and frolic under the waterfall where we see a little girl named Jia. The last Iwi native and the adopted daughter of Kong's expert Dr. Eileen Andrews. Jia cannot listen or speak. His friendship with Kong is very deep and he does not listen to anyone except Jia. Over time Kong becomes quite aggressive due to being trapped in the artificial environment of the dome. He uproots a tree and hurls it into the sky, causing the wall of the dome to break. Then we learn that Kong was imprisoned in this dome to prevent Godzilla from attacking. Because these two titans can trace each other wherever they are. That's why the scientist fears that if they fight again, one of them will surely die. As the size of Kong has increased more than before, it is being thought to shift to another place. Then we see a man named Bernie Hayes who works as an engineer at Apex Cybernetics Company. And he is also the host of the Titan Conspiracy Theory podcast. Apex Facility makes many devices of future technology like advanced machines, artificial intelligence, robots, etc. But Bernie feels that something must be wrong with the Apex Facility. The facility is building a machine that threatens the Earth. So he copies all new development data from the Apex Facility computer to a flash drive. Then he learns that this company is shifting a huge machine to Hong Kong but suddenly the alarm starts ringing there. This alarm was a warning sign that Godzilla was coming. Shortly after, Godzilla emerges from the sea and starts destroying everything. During the commotion, Bernie sees a device that looks like an orca, which was previously used to communicate with or control the Titans. No one understood why Godzilla was trying to kill everyone after all because he is a life-saving Titan. Here we learn about Godzilla's nuclear power. Godzilla uses his breath to destroy the entire facility. The news of Godzilla's attack spreads all over the world, but now he is not the same as before. In the past, he used to save people's lives. The CEO of Apex Company named Walter Simmons tells everyone that his company is working on a project. They will soon be able to create a machine that can match and compete with Godzilla. When a girl named Madison sees the news on TV, she doesn't believe Godzilla's attack because she knew him well. But when she listens to Bernie's podcast about Godzilla's attack, she becomes worried. And then she goes to the monarch relief camp and meets her father, Mark, who is a scientist. She tells him that Godzilla couldn't have done that, someone must have provoked him or there was another titan. Madison's father explains to her that these titans are just like humans, they can change their mood at any time. Now that Godzilla has changed and is killing humans, Madison goes home angry and listens to Bernie's podcast. Bernie reveals that the Apex Facility Robotics Lab in Pensacola is behind Godzilla's incitement and all the mayhem. Madison then decides to visit Bernie and investigate Godzilla's attacks and enlists her friend Josh. Apex CEO Walter later meets Dr. Nathan Lind, a former monarch scientist and hollow earth theorist. Walter tells him that he was right about the hollow earth being the place where the Titans are born. Dr. Nathan published a book about another earth under earth called Hollow Earth which is the Titans' secret underground home and source of energy for them. Walter then introduces Dr. Nathan to Apex's chief technology officer named Ren. He shows Dr. Nathan a hologram of the hollow earth. Nathan is surprised to see that the energy source signals here are enormous. Walter says that just as we gain energy from the sun, these Titans draw energy from the hollow earth. And if we manage to find and control this energy source, we can easily fight Godzilla. Walter asks Dr. Nathan to help him find that energy source, but Nathan believes it's impossible to get there. Because his brother tried to find hollow earth but a strong reverse gravity field inside the tunnel killed him. Walter tells Dr. Nathan not to worry because the Apex company has developed a vehicle. Named Heave, this aerial vehicle is specially designed for hollow earth that can withstand reverse gravity. Then Dr. Nathan tells Walter that every Titan can find their home so we should get help from Kong. Dr. Nathan then meets his friend Dr. Eileen on Skull Island who has been caring for Kong for many years. He tries to convince her that we should send Kong to her home since Hollow Earth is her home. And we can't keep him here much longer, Kong will find his home and our home will be saved. 
Kong will show us the way to Hollow Earth and the energy there is our last hope to stop Godzilla. After some discussion, Dr. Eileen agrees because she has no other choice. Nathan, Eileen, and Jia then set off across the ocean as a group of military ships chain Kong. There we see Walter's daughter Maya, led by an Apex team, joins them. Jia speaks to Kong in sign language, explaining that Kong is angry because he is chained. Then Madison and Josh take a long drive to Bernie's. He tells them that a lot of equipment from the Apex facility is secretly being sent to the Apex headquarters in Hong Kong. Now they decide to go to the Apex facility to find out why Godzilla went berserk and destroyed the company. We then see an alarm ringing on the ship that Kong was on. Jia runs to Dr. Eileen and signals that Godzilla is coming. When Kong also feels that Godzilla is coming, he starts roaring. Dr. Eileen tells Nathan that we need to unchain Kong so he can fight Godzilla and save us. Finally, Godzilla emerges from the sea and cuts a ship in half as it heads toward them. After which they fire rockets and missiles at Godzilla but it doesn't matter or hurt Godzilla. Godzilla also destroys their jets and in the process destroys their other ships. Now Godzilla approaches Kong's ship and overturns it. Due to this, the ship's cabin begins to fill with water, and Kong and many people start drowning in the sea. Nathan then quickly unchains Kong, so Kong straightens the ship and saves the people from drowning. Kong then jumps from ship to ship to get to Godzilla. Kong and Godzilla fight, standing on the ship, Kong punches him Godzilla punches him back. Which knocks Kong down. Kong rises again and attacks Godzilla, throwing him into the ocean. This infuriates Godzilla and uses his nuclear power through his breath. Seeing this, Kong jumps into the water to save his life and the entire ship is destroyed. Godzilla's nuclear power light spreads around and everyone is shocked to see it. The two fight again in the ocean, with Godzilla taking Kong deep into the ocean to kill him. Which causes Kong to gasp as Godzilla grabs him and goes further down. Seeing this, Eileen says that we must help Kong immediately otherwise Godzilla will kill him. They use underwater bombs to launch several missiles into the ocean, causing a large explosion. The explosion causes Godzilla to release Kong and Kong returns to the ship for his life. Dr. Nathan tells all the remaining ships to turn off their powers and engines so that Godzilla will think that everything is destroyed. They then turn everything off, after which Godzilla angrily looks at Kong and is gone away. Eileen says that if we move forward, Godzilla will think we're alive and he'll attack us again. Now how do we get the Kong from here to our destination, to which Dr. Nathan says we'll airlift him? On the other hand, we see Madison and her friends enter the ruined Apex base. There they discover a secret facility deep underground, then hearing someone's voice, they enter a small cabin. They find the eggs of a skull crawler megafauna there and they look at the eggs in amazement. Suddenly the door is locked and they are trapped in a transport cabin with the eggs. Which takes them to the Apex headquarters in Hong Kong via an underground Hyperloop transport system. We then see the military manage to transport Kong via helicopters to the Hollow Earth entry point in Antarctica. Jia convinces Kong to enter the tunnel and their entire team follows him into Heave. Inside the Hollow Earth, they find an ecosystem similar to Skull Island, it was a unique world because they had heaves to counter the reverse gravity, their lives are saved. There were a lot of monsters in Hollow Earth. Then a flying monster attacks and destroys a heave vehicle on their team. Then he was about to attack the second heave, but Kong grabs the monster from behind and beats him around on the ground and finally, he separates his head from his torso and drinks his blood. Kong then takes off and the rest of the team chases after him before he stops at the top of a mountain. There he sees a lot of rocks flying in the air, then Kong touches a rock. So seeing that stone flying and hitting another mountain, Kong also jumps and reaches the second peak while flying. On the other hand, Madison and her friends arrive at the Apex headquarters in Hong Kong. There they find Apex Company's secret weapon, called Mechagodzilla, a mechanical version of Godzilla. Which is telepathically controlled by Apex's chief technology officer Ren. A skull crawler is released in front of Mechagodzilla to test his powers. Mechagodzilla then uses his power to easily kill the skull crawler. Then suddenly Mechagodzilla's power goes off because it required too much energy to keep it active. 
and that energy source only existed in the hollow earth, so Walter was looking for that energy source to bring Mechagodzilla back to life. Later, we see that suddenly Mechagodzilla is reactivated. As the Mechagodzilla returns to power, Godzilla finds out and begins to head toward Hong Kong. In Hollow Earth, Kong arrives in front of a mountain where the energy source was located. Which they all came here to find, Kong goes there opens the door and enters, and roars at the side of the place. Because that's where Kong's ancestor's throne was, and he also finds a glowing axe made from the dorsal plates of another Godzilla. He sits on his throne like a king with that axe, Nathan says we guessed right, Kong has reached his home. Godzilla now reaches Hong Kong and now he was heading towards Mechagodzilla where everyone runs for their lives. Kong locates the energy source there and discovers that he can also recharge the axe with that energy. As Kong recharges the axe, Godzilla realizes that someone has arrived on Hollow Earth. So he unleashes his nuclear power on Earth and attacks Kong in the Hollow Earth, piercing the Earth. Walter's daughter Maya sends a sample of the energy source back to the apex base in Hong Kong so they can activate the Mechagodzilla. Dr. Eileen forbids her to do so, but she doesn't listen to him and runs away when Godzilla attacks. But then while running away when she fires at Kong, Kong destroys her heave in his hand. Kong then takes his axe and travels to Hong Kong through a hole in the ground to fight Godzilla. And he attacks Godzilla with his axe which penetrates a building. Then Godzilla and Kong begin to fight. Godzilla uses his nuclear power to try to kill Kong several times. But Kong fights bravely and survives each time, then Kong attacks Godzilla with an axe and he is injured. Godzilla becomes enraged and uses his nuclear powers to throw Kong away. But Kong uses his axe to block his power and knocks him down with a powerful blow. This sends Godzilla into a rage and the two of them get into a big fight for quite some time. Because Godzilla was so powerful, he didn't give Kong a chance to lose his temper and it looked like Kong would be defeated. After finally defeating Kong, Godzilla puts his foot on his chest and roars, Kong also roars and then he walks away. After receiving the energy source from the hollow earth, Walter asks immediately to activate Mechagodzilla. But the system fails as Mechagodzilla powers up and goes out of their control and attacks Walter, killing him. He then electrocutes his controller Ren as well and breaks through the wall to get out. Godzilla sees him and proceeds to fight, then a dangerous battle ensues between the two. Mechagodzilla was very powerful and Godzilla looked helpless in front of him. Mechagodzilla grabs Godzilla with one of his hands and slams him into the building. Madison and Bernie try to shut down Macha Godzilla's powers but fail to do so. On the other hand, we see the injured Kong who was in a very bad condition and was about to die. When Jia feels Kong's heartbeat, she notes that his heartbeat is slowing down. Dr. Nathan says we have to electrocute Kong to save his life. He then uses the he vehicle to electrocute him, causing Kong to regain consciousness. Jia tells Kong that Godzilla is not our enemy but our friend and you should go and help him. On the other hand, Mechagodzilla was just about to kill Godzilla when Kong arrived and saved him. Godzilla and Kong then teamed up to fight him. Mechagodzilla was so powerful that he overwhelmed both of them. Kong finds his axe, but unfortunately, it doesn't charge, Kong still uses the axe and attacks Mechagodzilla. But Mechagodzilla knocks Kong to the ground and is about to attack and kill him when Kong stops him for a moment. Then Madison's friend Josh grabs Bernie's wine and pours it on the machine to shut it down. This causes a short circuit and Mechagodzilla's powers are turned OFF for a while. Taking the opportunity, Godzilla uses his nuclear powers and charges Kong's axe. Kong was now powerful, so he destroys Mechagodzilla by cutting off both his arms and legs with his axe. After tearing apart every part of its body, he finally rips off its head and roars, holding it in his hand. Now seeing Godzilla stand up again, Kong also grabs his axe and gets ready to fight Godzilla. But now they don't fight because they helped each other and then Godzilla goes back to the sea. We then see Kong now return to his forever home of Hollow Earth. A monitoring station is built for Kong in Hollow Earth where we see Dr. Nathan, Eileen, and Jia. With that, the movie ends. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on the notification, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.